What's up, boys and girls? How's it going? It's One Eye Gamer. Yes, I'm literally blind in my left eye. What happened? Hey, show up the stream, ask me. I'll, I'll let you know. I just wanted to look, take a look behind me. What's this? It's video after video after video of skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking is the best thing to come to Call of Duty. Wait, you, but, yeah, no, hold on. Listen, what do I mean by that? It's the best thing that came to Call of Duty. Well, not maybe for you, but for Activision. Why is that? Well, skill-based matchmaking lines you up with people of your similar skill level. So in other words, uh, you know, long story short, it's like uh, you being in a sweaty match every single time, you know, like ranked play. Except the only difference is, is well, you don't get nothing for it. You don't, you don't get no reward. You don't even get no, what is the word I'm looking for? You really don't get not to be frustrated because eventually skill-based matchmaking makes you frustrated, right? And then there's other things like engagement-based matchmaking, sound-based matchmaking, and whatever patented said they actually created, which are proven. And they're all out there. They're online for you to Google just so you can see. And that's one thing. That is the secret sauce to Activision's freaking whole game anymore. And why do they do this? Why do they do this? Well, skill-based matchmaking makes it so that what they say is little Timmy's protected. You know, them guys that you never see anymore unless you really Touch reverse boost, which, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'd say do it. If you could reverse boost to have fun, why wouldn't you do it? Yes, yeah, that'll be them real people out there, those those few people that sit there and say, huh, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing stuff like this? You shouldn't be doing this. Is, this is stupid. You're just, you're just bad out the game. No, man. You gotta understand that fun of the game is smashing noobs. And yes, you've heard all this before. You've heard it before. You've heard it from every single big streamer. And small streamer, too. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I wanted to tell you the one thing that skill-based matchmaking, as long as Activision appeals to, and what they do, and why you keep on seeing these older games, and why you see older maps, and why you see all this older stuff come up, is for one reason and one thing is old reason only, to appeal to your feelings. You know? You ever been young? <laughs> We've all been young. But you remember when you were young, and you had great times with your father, Maybe great times with your mom, your brother. Or how about when you got your first Nintendo or PlayStation 1 or PS2? Uh, how about PS3? Whenever that time and era was. And you played video games and you came home right after school or, or, or weekends. Like, you know, you used to have little things where we would play Nintendo. And, uh, you know, we'd, we'd actually go into friend's house and chill. And uh, there'd be like six of us, especially on the weekend. There'd be like 12 of us just sharing the Nintendo. Having a great time. Call of Duty does with some of the games that they made. They, 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 made, they make great games. And I'm going to tell you right now that Modern Warfare 3 is not a bad game at all. Wow. Unless you like skill-based matchmaking. See, because skill-based matchmaking is in the game. And that, in fact, with all the videos that you've seen, destroys the game. That, in fact, makes the game really, really unplayable and really bad. And people don't like that. So what Activision does is they like to bring up nostalgic, nostalgia, you know, stuff that appeals to older times. When you could relate in your feelings to having fun. You know, you ever had fun when you were young and you remember it? And you want to go back to that time as you get older. Something oh, yeah. triggers it in your mind. It triggers a feeling. Sometimes a smell of something. It don't matter what it is. But something appeals to it. And you're like, damn, I wish I could go back to that time frame. 
Well, see, when you played a game like Black Ops 1, like I have, because that was my height of Call of Duty for me. Just like Battlefield 3 was the height of Battlefield for me. I want to go back to those times when times were easier and better, and I was the noob. I've had fun. Did I care about my kill death ratio? No. Heck no. Who did? When you were younger, you didn't care about getting all that worked out. You just cared about playing the game. I'd play for a long time. And now, what Call of Duty does is they appeal to the older gamers, they appeal to the younger gamers. What they do is they try to group us all together. But skill-based matchmaking is, is more about, like, what I feel is just to maximize their profits because you know they want they want they want they what they do is they introduce guns like the like the dmr that used to be in warzone one right the dmr oh my gosh and they sold the crap out of it and they didn't fix it they didn't fix it for at least what a month and then what about what about the, the more recent shotgun the, the double barrel shotgun the one from doom bam boom one i mean you were done it basically finished you in warzone You see, those things provide them money and people in return because of skill-based matchmaking. They want easier kills. Everybody wants an easier kill. There's only some certain people are mad enough to admit it. Like me, like Soldier, like Murder Show. And we admit it because it's fun. Not all, every single time do you want to sit there and spawn die, spawn die, spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. Nobody wants to go through that process. The minute you enter a doorway, bam, done. Somebody's right there, ready. That's no fun. So Activision appeals to your feelings. Your feelings by take, by grabbing nostalgia and just t twisting it. They bring back these older games and sit there and make, they make them look beautiful. And you're just hoping, hoping for that feeling to come back again. But let me tell you. Let me tell you, fortunately, unless you're willing to accept everything as it stands right now, and more patents to come, more patents to come, because it made them billions. Not millions, but billions. And it's up to you to decide this is how you want to spend your free time, sweating your butt crack off to no avail. I'd say just reverse boost. Do whatever it takes to have that fun factor back. Because if they're not willing to admit skill-based matchmaking is there, then technically it doesn't exist. It's an unspoken theme. So if they're not willing to admit it, then what's wrong with you killing yourself a couple times or a hundred? Nothing. Let's have fun all over again. Hey, if you like what you hear, man, don't forget to hit the like button. I do appreciate a sub too. I'm going live just about every single day. Thanks. Y'all have a great night, man. And uh <laughs> keep it clean. Watch that ass.